Up to the age of nine, little Mia's life was filled with happiness. She had a home with her father, David, and mother, Emma, who were both very loving toward her. To make matters more happier, Mia's late father had left her a sizable sum, but then she lost her mother unexpectedly, and everything fell apart. The funeral was shortened because Mia saw something that made her scream while at her mother's burial. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. Her keen eyesight allowed her to detect a terrible deception. This turned out to be Mia's worst day ever. Her mother was buried with her mother inside the coffin. The woman was so beautiful that it looked like she was asleep. Her exquisite use of natural cosmetics, which gave her face an angelic aspect, and her ghostly pallor were ridiculed by them. Next to the coffin, the woman's mother and the young girl's grandma were sobbing excessively. When the little girl was just three years old, her father died in a job accident, leaving her an orphan. She had also lost her mother at this point. Despite her deep affection for her father, she was too young to remember him from his lifetime. Her mother had a duty to inform her about their unique relationship. Being the only child of sausage farm owners, her father had been a wealthy. Since her father had never had siblings, Mia's parents had made a vow to one another that they would have at least four kids so that Mia might enjoy the blessing of having siblings. For a while, Mia's father's cousin Jack, the son of his mother's sister, lived with him due to financial difficulties. Since Jack had known Thomas his whole life, he felt as though his life had been stolen when Emma and Thomas were married. But from then on, his uncle promised, he would be taken care of like their own child. The pair were hitched in their just-acquired house. However, Emma's repeated medical procedures made it difficult for her to become pregnant. They were able to ultimately realize their ambition of having a child only after enduring many procedures. Up until the last week of her pregnancy, Emma's pregnancy was entirely uneventful. However, she started exhibiting symptoms of elevated blood pressure, which required an emergency cesarean surgery to deliver her baby. Thomas went to his father and asked for help taking care of his mother and daughter for the following 30 days once they had both recovered. In actuality, Thomas was happy, but a few months later, he got some depressing news. Following a battery of testing, it was determined that Emma's heart was beating abnormally slowly because of significant thyroid inflammation, which was the cause of her bradycardia. Doctors warned them not to have any more kids since it would endanger Emma's life severely. Acknowledging that they will never have another child, Thomas got more closer to Mia after following the doctor's advice. Emma realized she had to accept the situation despite her sorrow. Two happy years passed with Mia at the heart of the family's existence after that excruciating occurrence. Nevertheless, disaster struck one morning. Three persons were killed when a boiler burst in the manufacturing warehouse while Thomas was there overseeing the sausage manufacture. Emma felt helpless and despondent after learning the news, which crushed her family. Following the catastrophe, Thomas's cousin Jack took it upon himself to care for Mia as though she were his own daughter. His aunt and uncle were happy when he married Emma, the widow of his cousin, three years later. Satisfied with his talents, they gave him Thomas's old job at the sausage firm. As a devoted father to Mia, Jack made up for the loss of Thomas. He was a magnificent man. He supported them both by going to her school performances and helping her with her schoolwork while her mother worked at the store she had founded. Emma was supposed to celebrate her 38th birthday on the day of the sad incident with a lavish party, friends, and carefully selected treats. To make sure the cakes and sandwiches met her standards, she visited the bakery. She requested Jack to go with her to an initial taste that the company's owners had invited her to. Jack, however, was unable to accompany her to the tasting since he had another engagement. After hopping into her luxurious van, she headed in the direction she wanted to go. However, a thief approached her as she got out of her car with her bag in hand, grabbing her by the waist and telling her not to make any noise because he had a pistol and could pull the trigger. Emma told the attacker that, while he was welcome to have whatever, he should just spare her life. The aggressor then gave her the order to get back in the car, and they both drove off. The security cameras in the bakery recorded everything as it happened. She was taken hostage by the guy, who then took her to the city's outskirts, seized her belongings, and fatally shot her in the belly. 
When a bystander heard a disturbance while strolling around the neighborhood, they hurried to the scene. He found a woman there who was about to die. She had an SUV and a pricey handbag by her side. When the bystander realized the woman had left her cell phone in the car, she used it to call 911. It was determined by the investigating authorities that it was a sad result of a brawl after they arrived. The matter was resolved quickly, and the procedure was simple. Jack seemed to be in a deep state of sadness at the funeral. People sympathized with him as he was having trouble controlling his feelings, as well as with Mia. Even though he usually acted calmly, he started crying hysterically. Seeing how much anguish he was in, many had sympathy for him. Some even thought he was more hurt than Mia. Jack would not give up the coffin holding his wife Emma at the funeral. He seemed unable to bear to part from her. But Mia saw something strange about her stepfather as she came back from the lunch to say goodbye to her mother. It surprised her to see that he had a ring on his finger. She started to scream as soon as she realized what had happened, stopping the funeral in its tracks. This unexpected turn of events surprised everyone there, including close acquaintances. Mia questioned the ring's provenance and blamed her stepfather of being to blame for her mother's passing during her outburst. Startled, Jack found it difficult to speak. He eventually replied, highlighting her love for him and for Mia as well as herself, by revealing that her mother had given him the ring. After hearing this reply, Mia knew right away that her mother's death was her stepfather's fault. She intended to surprise her mother with the ring as a birthday present, so she had delivered it to her on the day her mother died and concealed it in a pocket of her mother's pocketbook. Mia had planned to show her mother the ring and some goodies in the coming days, but she had never seen it herself or informed her about it. Mia realized then that her mother's possessions, including the priceless ring, had been seized by her stepfather in addition to killing her. A family acquaintance was a police officer, and when he discovered what was going on, he arrested Jack right away. Following a thorough investigation, it was determined that Jack was Emma's killer. He wanted to kill Mia and take her fortune for himself, all the while continuing to act as the administrator of her estate. He received a life sentence that required him to be incarcerated. Mia now pays her respects at her mother's grave every time she goes to the cemetery. Every other weekend, she spends time with her paternal grandparents and grandmother, whose role it is to watch over her. Her grandmother assumes this role. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.